Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. I'm very happy to have today with me one of the amazing defenders of digital, Eric Singer. Hello, Eric. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Can you explain to us today what are some of the main challenges facing your community? First of all, in 2021, we face so many incidents. Let's uh, speak maybe on three iconic Incident. First of all, the solar winds incident that happened in January 2021. This was against a software that, that is used by 18,000 companies worldwide, and this software uh, can impact the internal IT of any organization. Second attack that it was in mid uh, mid year in May 2021. It was the colonial pipeline, that it was a ransomware. This was also uh, the, uh, an attack that impacted a, a huge a critical infrastructure in the US. So that it was kind of a wake-up call for the community here. Last, in, uh, but not least, in the uh, uh, in, uh, end of this year, and beginning of 2022, we are facing a new kind of an attack for, uh, it's a global attack. It's called the Log4J vulnerability. Uh, and this vulnerability is on any software, or all software worldwide, and all companies are to work currently on this one to face this super important attack, very critical and difficult to detect. So I just wanted to uh, mention a statistic for our viewers. Today, uh, cybercrime losses last year were more than six trillion US dollars, which equals 14 billion dollars a day and even 11 billion dollars per minute in losses. However, the likelihood of detecting and prosecuting uh, cyber criminals is less than 0.05 percent. So, Eric, what can we do in 2022? We need first to focus on people, about awareness, education of people using their devices but also with the cyber defenders. They have to do cyber training on cyber crisis simulation, for instance. Second aspect is maybe the processes on, co on cooperation uh, within uh, the community of uh, cyber professionals. And we need to work together to better protect the ecosystem. Third, this is the technology aspect. And technology is not a magic wand. Uh, we, the kind of technology we need to use now, this is the new kind of antivirus with uh, artificial intelligence. But also we need to use the new kind of uh, protection which is uh, against any identity theft. This is the multi-factor authentication, a combination of password and also uh, uh, validation on a smartphone or whatever. We're seeing an unprecedented number of attacks, unprecedented scope, yes. unprecedented impact, but we also are seeing an unprecedented number of job openings, 2.7 million unfilled jobs. Mm -hmm. So what can you say to inspire people of all ages, all genders, to join the fight against cybercrime? So come to work on cybersecurity, this is an exciting journey. You can be a cybersecurity warrior, fighting against incidents. You and work in security operation centers. You can be an uh, architect designing new cybersecurity solutions. Cyber architect is a nice work. You need also to communicate with the senior management and to be a chief information security officer. But what about the youngest? How to drive the change for the kids? And I think our purpose and our aim is to go in schools, in college, and to ensure that we speak to youngers about cybersecurity, uh, to, to girls, to boys. And my wish will be that uh, uh, for a girl or a boy to say, I want to be a cybersecurity warrior. Thank you so much, Eric. Next week, we will be talking about crypto finance with the world's youngest self-made billionaire, how he did it, and what he's doing to share his good fortune with others. Thank you very much. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.